Well, hello you guys. Your girl is back and I'm super excited to be back filming you guys. First of all, excuse my setup. I'm actually sitting in a different room. I tried to film in my beauty room, but for some reason the lights or the like electrical switches, they're not working. I don't know why. So I had to kind of just come out here in my little loft area and just film here. But yes, you guys, I'm back. And I kind of figured I'd do like a chit chat, get ready with me, just kind of like explain why I've been gone um, and all that good stuff. And it, you guys know I did just purchased a brand new house back in, it was actually the end of October, we closed on a house back then, but we kind of like moved in the beginning of, the, of November. So we're still in the process of like unpacking and getting settled. So that's one reason why I've been gone. But I just kind of want to talk to you guys for a bit and just chit chat and get ready. So I guess I'll just kind of like zoom you guys in on my eyes some more. And I am trying um, a few new products, maybe like two or three new products, but yeah, I guess we can just get started. All right, so starting off to prime my eyes, this product is nothing new. It's just my Lorac um, behind the scenes eyeshadow primer. Again, it's nothing new. But yes, you guys, I am super excited to be, you know, in my own place. And it was so hard to just kind of like keep this a secret from you guys because I like to, you know, share things with you because I kind of feel like we are friends and family here in the tube. But, you know, when buying a house, you just never know what can happen and i didn't want to like say oh you guys we are in the process of buying a house and of course like it fell through you know just i didn't want to have to like explain myself so i just kind of kept it a secret but that whole house buying process was a nightmare like i honestly did not enjoy the process number one because it took too long like it took too long um before i get before i continue um i am going to use the makeup forever lustrous shadow palette first of all this packaging is goals number one it's just everything and then here is the actual product itself like this is probably hands down the best packaging i've seen for eyeshadow palette and then in the inside it just looks like this and when i seen this product in sephora like i swatched it and i was like that's it like you're coming home with me like it swatched so beautifully um i am gonna take this like nude color and just kind of put it all over my lid but yeah so when we started to look for houses you guys saw my vlog i did back over the summer when i said it was looking for houses so we truly was looking for houses when i did that vlog um and we did find a house that we love but it was going to be new construction so brand new house and with new construction i mean you really never know how long it can take but at the same time it's also really exciting because you're the first owner of the house you know no one else has lived there before all right you guys i'm gonna go in with this like really pretty like burnt brown orange color in my crease so yeah, so we found a house that we loved and we went ahead and put an offer in it. And at that time for our apartment, our lease was up the end of July. So of course we kind of knew we was on a time crunch. So we went ahead and put in an offer on the house and they said that the house would be done the end of August. So of course we're like, well, if y'all can like knock this house out by the end of August, then of course like we're in, you know, because we need to either find another house or renew our lease which we did not want to renew our apartment lease or just you know keep looking for something else so we really like the house went ahead and put an offer for it and of course we're on a contract and they gave us the closing date of the end of august so with that being said versus us renewing our lease and paying the extra not renewing but versus us doing like month to month because you guys know you can do month to month in an apartment only thing is with month to month is really expensive so versus us doing that um and we only had like a month to wait for the house to be built we went to my mom's house for a month now with us going to my mom's house for a month it did make my commute to work an even longer commute so versus me drive, driving like 35 minutes to go to work I was not driving an hour to go to work and you guys maybe live in Atlanta it's not even an hour it's longer than an hour because you have to factor in traffic so that was fun um so yeah so it was at her house 
for that month. And then, little did we know, the date got pushed back again for the house in terms of like the closing date. So they said, okay, we won't be done the end of August. We'll be done the end of September. Okay, fine, cool. You know, we're kind of annoyed, but what's another month? So again, during that time frame, I did not have all of my like I had like my makeup stuff with me but you know because it was only a month I still had my stuff in boxes because I kind of figured okay it's a month I'm not gonna unpackage um, all this stuff to repackage this stuff back again so all I did was pretty much unpack Trey stuff so his stuff can pretty much be easy and accessible for me to grab on a day to day basis but my stuff and Ricky's stuff are still packed up so that's one reason why you guys didn't really see me film that much another reason was because i told you guys my commute was even longer so i'm driving an hour to go to work and then coming home traffic was a freaking nightmare especially like on 285 i don't know who is like a elena viewer of mine but you guys know 285 is a nightmare so Literally, my commute would go from an hour to legit two hours. So I'm sitting almost two hours in the car. And by this time, I'm super tired. I'm annoyed. I'm frustrated. I was at, day, I was at work all day long. And now I'm sitting in traffic for like two hours. So by the time I come home, I don't want to film. I just want to spend time with my son and just get ready for the next day. So there were days when I pretty much didn't know if I was coming or going. And then Ricky got switched over to night shift all right you guys i'm just going to take this really pretty burgundy color and just place that in my out of v all right so um yeah so the closing date got pushed back to the end of September and I was kind of upset about it because, you know, I just kind of felt like how did we go from the end of August, which we planned to stay there at my mom's house till the end of August, to it now being the end of September. So that was kind of frustrating to say the least. Um, but at the same time, I was kind of happy because I had my mom there to help me in terms of like with Trey. So that was really fun um, in that aspect, but I did miss having my own space and I did miss filming because again like I couldn't really film because I had my stuff in boxes and then you know like when it's not like your space it's not the same like energy and it's just not the same as having like your own space and you guys know I did try to film while, while I was there because I did film I think two videos there but having to like dig through boxes to try to find stuff and just it was just a hot mess um so I was like, yeah, filming gonna have to get put on the back burner until I can just kind of get into my own place because this is not, it's not the move at all, like at all. So um, yeah, so they pushed the date back and then when it got closer to the end of September, they pushed the closing back again, this time to the end of October. Now I'm to the point where I'm seriously frustrated and I just kind of feel like, you know what, like screw this house, screw the builders, screw this, just screw everybody because how did we go from August to September to now October? And during this entire time, you know, like, like I have my realtor trying to call them, they're ignoring his phone calls, you know, like ricky's trying to call they're ignoring his phone calls i just kind of felt like it was very just unprofessional and my thing is i get it like things happen you know you're gonna have to like change your date here and there but don't be rude and like not answer the phone like that really bothered me to the core um so i just kind of felt like in that aspect it was just handled very unprofessionally so i was really irritated about that and i kept having to change my work schedule in terms of like closing to accommodate them and you guys not work retail so that was really annoying in itself so that was fun 
not really but that was fun um so yeah so then october came and of course we're like okay it's the end of the month you know hopefully nothing happens to where they're like okay y'all we got to change it again so once we got to the first walkthrough stuff was still not done and you guys know when you do a walkthrough the house is pretty much supposed to be done this house was nowhere near done and it was to the point where i was like are y'all gonna even be ready for like the final walkthrough are y'all gonna be ready for us to close on this house because it's so much stuff to do and of course they're like oh yeah 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 we'll be ready we'll be ready and i'm like okay we say so so it got closer i want to say probably like two days before got a, a email saying oh guess what you guys we got to push the closing back because something with the pipes just something happened to where we wouldn't be able to close and i was just like you know what like i've i've officially had it all together and this is it's it's just not meant to be like us and this house is not meant to be so i told ricky about it and of course he was like okay this is this is becoming too much this is frustrating it's 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 just too much so reached out to them and they said oh we have to get someone out there to go look at it and we'll just kind of keep you guys posted by the following weekday so luckily it was nothing serious I was able to get it fixed and was able to close on time um my only issue was when it was time to close the house was still not done so I really wanted to do like a video in terms of like showing you guys the house 100% um like finish and like empty but the day that we closed on the house um the next day I had to go to work and then Ricky was just ready to just like move in the house so he went ahead and moved um our stuff into the house before I can get a chance to actually like film a house tour with it being completely empty so that's why when you guys saw the video we already had our stuff in the house because I was able unable to film beforehand because I had to go to work so yeah that was really really fun um and I'm happy that part is over so yeah that's what's been going on with me so since I'm back oh, and I had to kind of get through holiday season well it's still holiday season but you guys know like Black Friday I had to kind of get through Black Friday because my schedule was all over the place and then we when we came um I did Trey's room first and then everything else in terms of the house I was like you know what it will have to get done later because I don't have the time or the energy to like try to unpack any boxes or anything right now so that had to get put on hold so we just kind of unboxed here and there um like on our off days so that's another reason why I did not film because on my off days I was pretty much unboxing stuff and trying to get the house ready i cannot wait to decorate but we're just gonna take our time because you guys like first of all it's more space than we had before so trying to like furnish a house is going to be quite expensive and we had to buy blinds which are health expensive like if you do the math in terms of like trying to put blinds on every window in your house that that is really expensive so you're looking at thirty dollars per blind like that's insane so yeah that was pretty much fun and then we had to buy a refrigerator as well so we did wait until um stores did their black friday sales to kind of see like who had the best deal so we did get a refrigerator it wasn't during black friday it was actually before because Best Buy had their like appliances like go on sale in advance so we just got that before Black Friday so we had to purchase that um Trey has his crib which I'm super excited about and it's just it's just a lot you guys it's it's a lot being a homeowner but at the same time it's a very fun rewarding experience that I will not change for the world um so I am going to use the Fenty Beauty um foundation you guys are probably wondering Cider, you have dry skin why but why not so i'm just gonna speed up this part because i've been talking a lot and i don't want the video to be extremely long so 
I'm just gonna speed through this part. But here is the foundation. You guys, I bought that foundation like over two months ago and this is my first time using it. Like when I say I'm so behind with makeup, it's just insane. Like it literally sat there for two months, but it's okay. I'm using it now and it looks beautiful on the skin. So super excited about that. Um, moving in for concealer, I'm just going to use my Tarte Shape Tape. Nothing new with that one. So just going to use that one to conceal under my eyes. I had the stomach flu twice it was so not fun at all like I felt like I was throwing my guts up like it was just not fun at all um, for my house I'm just gonna use the Maybelline Master Chrome you guys know this thing is amazing look hope you guys enjoyed my video like always please rate comment and subscribe and of course make sure you guys thumbs up and stay tuned and i'll see you guys next time bye guys